Meghan Markle accused of breaking Queen's promise of a royal title ahead of coronation. So guys, before we get right into it, please do ensure to subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video. Consider liking the video and please watch it right up to the very end. Meghan Markle allegedly promised the Queen she would never use her royal status for financial gain. A promise one royal biographer has controversially claimed she has broken. The Duchess of Sussex has done exactly what she and Prince Harry promised the Queen they would never do. By profiting from a royal status, a royal biographer has controversially claimed. Former actress Meghan is very proud that she joined the royal family as it will make her even richer and more famous, Angela Levin sensationally claimed. The royal commentator accused the 41-year-old Duchess of using her status for capital gains, which she reportedly promised the late Queen Elizabeth II she would never do. The royal biographer told GB News that Meghan is very proud that she has joined an organization that is going to make her even richer and more famous. She added, there she is, doing exactly what the Queen um, never wanted her to do which is using the royalty to make lots of money for capital gain and I think that is very poor because she wouldn't listen. Meghan also allegedly promised the Queen that when it came to the Commonwealth she wouldn't let Her Majesty down. When they met for the first time, royal author Giles Brentred claimed in his book Elizabeth an intimate portrait but now, she won't even be attending her son's coronation on May 6, a move that has divided royal fans. The successes revealed earlier this month that Meghan will stay at home in Montecito, California to look after her two children, Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet, while Harry alone jets across the pond for, king, for, the child, for the coronation of the king. There was speculation as to whether the successes will attend at all following their bitter fallout from the royal family. The pair stepped back from their royal duties three years ago after jetting across the Atlantic. Harry stayed um, a prince and the couple are allowed to keep the Duke and Duchess of Sussex title but are no longer addressed as his royal highness. The retention of the titles has provoked the charge that they are profiting of the royal brand. The Sussex's media company, Ashwa Productions, make various programs for Netflix, such as the bombshell darker series um, Harry and Meghan, the company is thought to be an arrangement worth millions of dollars. Ashwa also makes Spotify podcasts. Meanwhile, the Duke's Stellar Memoirs pair is also likely to be a huge money maker for the couple. The animal received the couple received 95% of their annual income from King Charles, who was then Prince of Wales when they were royals. The sources may not see their pockets filled by royal family cash any longer, but their various commercial arrangements are likely keeping them more than comfortable. The Duchess of Sussex was also reportedly paid $50,000 per episode for legal drama search which she starred in during her acting career.